Well, now we're going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to talk about music education in our schools. We've spoken with Stephen Hartley before. He's the executive director of Foundations of Music, and they have a pretty cool benefit that's coming up here on March 1st. So we're going to find out a little bit about that. Good morning, Steve. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Nice to talk to you again. Yes, likewise. You know, we uh, we talked last time about the importance of, of music in our schools because, well, obviously academics are very important, so is music. It's a very important part of, I think, a child's education. And um, you guys this month, or actually next month, March 1st, you have a pretty cool benefit going on. First of all, maybe do you want to explain to people who maybe didn't catch it last time exactly what Foundations of Music is all about? Absolutely. Uh, Foundations of Music is an organization in Chicago that works to make sure music education is happening in all communities. Um, we partner with schools, working with them to make sure that we can provide programming curriculum that's within their budget to uh, you know, provide music education to their students, and we work with schools to help them understand the importance of music education and perhaps uh, encourage schools to have their own music teacher on staff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, which is hard with all the you know lack of budgets and budget cuts and all that stuff. So that's where you guys kind of come in. Absolutely. Uh, We provide uh, a lot of assistance to schools that are struggling to uh, make ends meet just to make sure that arts doesn't get the back seat Mm -hmm. all the time. And we focus on music education because that's our staff and board's passion. Right. Now, obviously, because like we said, funding is so scarce when it comes to music education, you look for for help from the outside and you have something coming up on March 1st that not only will help foundations of music and ultimately help the kids but it's also a pretty fun thing to be involved with what's going on absolutely yes so we don't we we don't pass the cost to the schools we we raise funds from the outside world so that we're able to go to the schools and and help them with a solution that isn't based on their financial contributions Mm -hmm. so to do that we have lots of fundraising opportunities that happen and we're having an event at at the Lager News Brewing Company on Tuesday March 1st from 530 to 830 to just build awareness of music education. March is a nationally recognized month called Music in Our Schools Month. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can learn more about that from the NA. FME organization, NAFME. Okay. What is that? NAFME? Yes, that's a national organization of music educators, National Association of Music Educators that has an awareness during the month of March to, to make people aware of the importance of music education in schools. We piggyback on that to make people aware that, hey, this isn't just Chicago. Right, right. But in Chicago, we have this issue, and we're an organization that provides this to schools, and we need to be funded to do that. So we have our own event called uh, Match for Music in the month of March, and the mm-hmm. kickoff event is at Lagunitas, and it's 10 bucks to get in. Uh, Lyft has sponsored us, and if you register on our website at www.foundationsofmusic.org, you get a Lyft code that day, which is a free ride to the Lagunitas Brewing Company and a free ride back from the Lagunitas well, Brewing Company. Well, you make it so easy. There's no excuse for people not to go. I mean, uh, you're even providing transportation. Absolutely. And every beverage you purchase, the uh, proceeds go right back to our organization. So it's free to get there. $10 at the door goes to our organization's programming. Uh, the ride is free, so you can have as many beers as you like and not have to drive <laughs> yourself home. And so wait, great. Steve, I, I don't want to cut you off, but uh, I was I was reading up on this event before uh, before we were talking, and there's also food. Yeah. Yes. The the Apart Pizza Company on the north side of Chicago uh, has partnered with us a few times to help feed the masses, and they are providing the pizzas, which we're really excited about because they're delicious. That sounds so fun. And like I said, it's all, you know, you can go out, you can have a good time, have a few beers, have some pizza, not even have to drive yourself, and you're still, you're, you're doing something great for the kids. Absolutely. Your typical night out with a couple beers can be turned into something quite miraculous on this Tuesday. Yeah. So I hope people do it. And then throughout the month of March, um, we're you know we're going to have a whole slew of people out there campaigning for us, trying to raise funds, and that's going to be great. That's awesome. So people can um, they can they can buy tickets 
you said online uh, prior to the event, but you can also just show up, right? And you, you can, can show up. The only thing is, you don't get the free lift code right. unless you pre-register. Right. Okay. So you don't plan on, don't plan, in other words, on showing up, having a few beers and pizza, and then a free lift ride home. Right. You have to pre-register, and you get emailed the code that day. Got it. Got it. Okay. And once again, let's throw out that website for people who do want to pre-register www.foundationsofmusic.org. Look for the March Match for Music okay. banner, and there you go. That is awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun, and I hope that you guys raise a lot of money because, like I, I said, and you and I have talked about in previous conversations, really the, 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 um, the idea that music education gets lost in the shuffle, it bothers me just like physical education gets lost in the shuffle. Two things that, um, while non-academic, they, they still round out your, your academic experience at school, I think. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the National Endowment for the Arts has recently put out a report that just links a healthy arts program is linked to all sorts of po positive benefits throughout a child's life and well mm -hmm. into adulthood. And mm -hmm. it's, it's something we take very serious. Well, I think this sounds like a fabulous event. I hope that everyone listening plans on going. And I, I mean, I'm still in shock. You've made it so easy. You can lift there. You can lift home. You can have some beers. You can enjoy just hanging out and, and grab friends. I mean, it's a perfect thing to do after work. You know, Absolutely. grab some friends, swing on by, have some beer, have some pizza, and support a really great cause. Absolutely. Well, Stephen, I wish you all the best, and I hope that your event is is hugely successful, and I really appreciate you calling us to, to let us know about it. Thanks so much for having me on. My pleasure, Stephen. Have a great day. You too.